Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, we will take you along with our road island adventure. From charming coastal towns to historical landmarks, get ready for a journey filled with stunning mansions of Newport. Rhode Island is the smallest state in size. In Newport was one of the most important port cities in the North American British colonies during the 18th century. During the Gilded Age of the late 19th century, Newport gained prominence as leaders of finance and industries from New York and elsewhere, who built their ever larger, summer cottages, also known as mansions, and enjoyed a glittering social life of sports and parties. The Breakers The Breakers was built by America's preeminent architect Richard Morris Hunt for Cornelius Vanderbilt II who was one of the richest men in America. The Breakers was everything a millionaire of the Gilded Age could want in a summer getaway. A classic Italian palazzo design, the finest American and European craftsmanship, views of the sea, and modern technology combined to make the ideal setting for luxurious living and entertaining. It is the flagship of the Newport Mansions and a world-famous iconic image of the city by the sea. The Breakers was built from 1893 to 1895 to replace a smaller, wooden house that had been destroyed by fire. To reduce the risk of another fire, Vanderbilt and his wife, Elise, commissioned architect Richard Morris Hunt to design the new structure of steel, brick and limestone. Utilities such as the boilers were placed underground and away from the house. The breathtaking central Great Hall, with its 50-foot high ceiling, was inspired by the open-air courtyards of Italy but exudes the grandeur of the Gilded Age. The exquisite tile mosaics in the billiard room were handset by European artisans. The music room was constructed by Allard Sons in France then disassembled and shipped to the United States for reassembly inside the house. The breakers decor includes the finest materials in the world, including Baccarat crystal for the chandeliers in the dining room and platinum leaf in the morning room. The mansion covers nearly an acre of the 13-acre property and has 70 rooms including 48 bedrooms for family and staff. There are 27 fireplaces. It was equipped with electricity, still a novelty in houses during the Gilded Age, as well as gas for lighting. In 1948, Countess Sajechini, a daughter of Cornelius and Elise Vanderbilt, to whom ownership of the breakers had passed, allowed the fledgling Preservation Society of Newport County to begin offering tours of the first floor to the public. In return, the Preservation Society agreed to pay $1 per year and cover operating expenses and maintenance. In 1972, the Preservation Society purchased the house and property from her heirs. The Breakers was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1994. The Breakers has entertained presidents, royalty and guests from across the world for more than 125 years and today is visited by hundreds of thousands of people each year. Marble House Marble House was built between 1888 to 1892 for Mr. and Mrs. William K. Vanderbilt. It was a summer house, or cottage, as Newporters called them in remembrance of the modest houses of the early 19th century. But Marble House was much more. It was a social and architectural landmark that set the pace for Newport's subsequent transformation from a quiet summer colony of wooden houses to the legendary resort of opulent stone palaces. 
Mr. Vanderbilt was the grandson of Commodore Cornelius Vanderbilt, who established the family's fortune in steamships and the New York Central Railroad. His older brother was Cornelius II, who built the breakers. Alva Vanderbilt was a leading hostess in Newport Society and envisioned Marble House as her temple to the arts in America. The house was designed by the architect Richard Morris Hunt, inspired by the Pathet Trianon at Versailles. The cost of the house was reported in contemporary press accounts to be $11 million, of which $7 million was spent on 500,000 cubic feet of marble. Upon its completion, Mr. Vanderbilt gave the house to his wife as a 39th birthday present. The Vanderbilts had three children, Consulo, who became the Ninate Duchess of Marlboro. William K. J. R. a prominent figure in pioneering the sport of auto racing in America. And Harold, one of the finest yachtsmen of his era who successfully defended the America's Cup three times. The Vanderbilts divorced in 1895, and Alva married Oliver Belmont, moving down the street to Belcourt. After his death, she reopened Marble House, and had a Chinese tea house built on the seaside cliffs of the property, where she hosted rallies for women's right to vote. The Elms the Elms was the summer residence of Mr. and Mrs. Edward Julius Berwind, whose fortune was made in the coal industry. Architect Horace Trumbauer modeled it after the 18th century French Chateau d'Asniers outside Paris. Construction of the Elms was completed in 1901 at a cost reported at approximately $1.4 million. The interiors and furnishings were designed by Allard and Sons of Paris and were the setting for the Berwines collection of Renaissance ceramics, 18th century French and Venetian paintings, and Oriental jades. The elaborate classical revival gardens on the grounds were developed between 1907 to 1914. 